house where I lived. Good morning, fellas. Hi. Good morning, everybody. I'm heading back to the clinic again. Um, it is Tuesday. It is Valentine's Day. I get to see my hubby today. Um, yesterday was his birthday. We did not get to be together, um, but he had a wonderful birthday with very good news about his kids. Um, and they will be staying with us for at least the rest of the school year, so we're very happy about that. Um, lots more to explain in the future as to how that affects things, but um, anywho, I'm on my way to the clinic. And then I get to go straight from the clinic to pick up Brian from the airport. It's only 7 o'clock in the morning right now. I had them move my appointment to much earlier um, so I can get to the airport. And today is a huge day for us. But um, I think I'll wait until I'm with Brian and we can explain it to you together. Well, everything went great at the clinic. And uh, things are coming along right on schedule. And uh, I have to do a bunch of blood work tomorrow. I told them taking six vials before I went to the airport right now was probably not the greatest idea. So I'm gonna do that tomorrow when Brian does it and I get to go to the airport now and pick him up. I am so excited to get to see him. I haven't seen him in two weeks. I think that's the longest we've ever been apart. And after today, it'll be at least two more weeks before I see him again. So very sad, but I'm looking forward to spending my Valentine's Day with him. So off to the airport we go. going for like two weeks oh, been doing a lot I missed all of this all of this I missed it <laughs> Hi, baby. back together again if only for 24 hours yeah <laughs> mm -hmm. I love I you. Missed you guess what happy Valentine's Day happy what? Valentine's Day look, look. this is the same color <laughs> so a uh, little little backstory this is the same color that she had on her nails in a picture that she had on OK Cupid. When we met. That was kind of like, mm, okay, I'm probably gonna date this chick. Red <laughs> hair, blue nails. <laughs> I did I'm it. Done. I'm I done. I did it especially for you for Valentine's I Day. I love it, baby. It looks great. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Let's you. go. Let's go. this so much a papa bear in the kitchen in my natural habitat oh man <laughs> baby cooking for myself is not all it's cracked up to be <laughs> plus i've missed you oh well thank you i appreciate that part Does that mean we're having girls? <laughs> <laughs> you hope. <laughs> Brian and I just got to the clinic and uh, we have to get a lot of blood drawn today 
and he gets to do his magical part in this whole thing. It's process. magical. <laughs> I love how it's magical. Coming here to drop some little bombs. I get to add my fairy, my, my fairy dust, my little pixie dust. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Hello. Scott's. Buenos dias. Brian's about to go home again. Yeah, we only had like just a little over 24 hours together. And we filmed pretty much nothing. Absolutely nothing because we were <laughs> too busy having doe eyes with each other. Pretty much. Well, it was a very busy day yesterday. We actually... See, she's blushing already. <laughs> anyway... We, besides it being Valentine's Day, which was the perfect day all month to see each other. Yes. By the way, Brian turned 35 the day before Valentine's Day. Why you gotta bring up old stuff? Like the fact that I'm old. Did the Jeep just fart at you? I think the Jeep just farted at me. <laughs> um, so, yesterday was a very big day for us. We got to finally meet our surrogate that we have chosen to carry our children. And it was awesome. She as She is as incredible as we expected. Yeah, she's perfect yeah i mean we've had we've had you know email contact with her through the surrogacy agency and us and, and a, a phone couple, call and a skype call and yeah a phone call and a couple skype calls a couple skype calls um through the surrogacy yeah. agency of course um but it was incredible to finally meet her in person and be able to give her a big hug and and know that she's real and she gave me a rose and she gave her a rose which was really sweet um, but she really does exist she's not some figment mm -hmm. figment of our of our imagination or she's just not this foreign person on a screen um she's real and we got to meet her and we got to give her a hug and talk to her and then we had you know other stuff to do that had to do with the surrogacy and so we got to talk to her a little bit more during those those meetings yeah we had to do our psych evaluation mm -hmm. and then the group one that included all three of us which is kind of the last step she also got medical clearance yes so we're basically green lighted at this point to start legal contracts soon uh in the words of the surrogacy agency, she has a beautiful uterus. That might be a little personal. Well, <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, and <laughs> let's see. So we, we pretty much have the green light to move forward from yeah. her side of things and start working on the legal contracts. But then, mm -hmm. of course, I'm going through the egg retrieval now. And whether or not we can move forward will depend on if we get enough healthy embryos out of this cycle yep. so it'll it'll still be a probably a good month before we know that but by then we can have legal contracts completed yeah and be able to maybe actually move forward with so. creating our family i really hope so little little babies yeah mm. um and in the meantime our family at home is growing too we have the kids living with us now yes yes we do if that's okay to say kids are living with us right now um don't want to go into details because i don't know if it's exactly. necessarily appropriate but um we do have the kids with us for right now and uh that makes me happy that they're with me so yeah um yes our family is growing all of a sudden and then hopefully it will be growing even more very soon yeah and that's what we're hoping for yeah um, so we did all of that we had dinner with laura and kimberly last night i made my balsamic glazed chicken my arm's getting tired Sorry, trade off. Um, and uh, we didn't really film anything because it ended up being pretty late when we all had dinner. Yeah. And then we all crashed. So, yeah, but we, we had a nice time, all four of us together. And um, that was it. Then we got up early this morning, went to the clinic, took care of a bunch of stuff there, and. I made some magic happen. <laughs> and now we're on our way back to the airport. Yes, we had to so. stop at Starbucks because uh, we have a little bit of time and there's some paperwork that I need to work on and a couple things that Christy needs to work on but just so we're not like sitting in the car in the parking lot at, yeah at, at the, the airport. airport so so we're gonna take like an hour here and then I'm off to take him home already yeah we probably won't see each other for about two more weeks yep, is what we're looking month, at so. so I'm gonna miss you I mom. know I'm gonna miss uh, you don't too don't start crying on camera don't do it oh I'm not gonna cry now okay I'll probably will. cry when I drop you off <laughs> stop <laughs> I love you so much. I'm going to miss too. you. I'm going to miss you too, baby. Quit being creepy. <laughs> They're watching us. You're letting them. I'm doing it for effect. <laughs> so, yeah, guys. Um, we're going to let you go because we're going to make out. So, <laughs> thanks for joining us today. And we'll bring you more vlogs uh, from being apart again. Yes, we soon. will. So he's getting moving into the house this weekend. So I am moving into the There's house. There's going to be weekend. a lot of house action. There's going to be a lot of stuff to catch up on when I do get home because we've had deliveries the last couple of days and all that stuff. So I'm excited. 
Bye, guys. Bye.